It's Frost C here and welcome to Pilot Weapons Training. Today we're talking about that Longbow DMR Sniper. Longbow DMR Sniper, semi-automatic sniper. So it's going to take you two shots to drop a pilot if you're hitting him in the chest, arms, or legs. Two shots no matter what. One shot if you hit him in the head, so try to always aim for that head shot. With this weapon, there's a variety of mods. There's the ACOG, Sten Mag, Stabilizer, Suppressor, and there's also a 3 point. I think not three point it's like a 4.5 zoom which is like a good barrier between that six times zoom and that eight cog which is a 2.4 times zoom so you could get like medium range with the sniper and it's good for dropping people that's what I like to use and with this it has very high damage high accuracy and high range the fire rate yeah not that high it takes about half a second between each shot so you always want to lead your shot so if someone's like on a wall you shoot them once they start running you gotta try to guess where they're gonna be next and shoot right there. With this gun, it's instantaneous with the shots. It's not like Battlefield where you have to lead a shot and the bullet will drop all that. It'll Wherever you're aiming, wherever that reticle is, that's where it's gonna drop. I know with the ACOG and the regular six times scope, there is an image on the bottom right of your sniper rifle. It's like a character body. And wherever your sniper rifle reticle is on, that's where it's going to light up. So it'll light up on the chest, on the arms, on the legs, or on the head. If you're aiming at the body, you'll know because you'll see it in that bottom right, but you got to pay attention and look at the corner of your eye sometimes. But if you're paying attention to that, it'll, you'll know whether to take one shot or two shots. Also, with this sniper rifle, there is only eight rounds in a magazine, so you got to use them wisely because what is that? Two rounds, what is that, four shots? or something one two three four five six yeah you could only kill four pilots with one magazine that's if you miss no shots and get them perfect every time or you kill eight pilots if you get all headshots but that's up to you with each attachment comes a flaw except for the really good ones which i like with the suppressor it's going to take you three shots to drop a pilot i'm pretty sure two shots to the head with the suppressor to drop a pilot or it might still be one i haven't killed someone with the suppressor because it sucks what I like to use is the stabilizer and the 4.5 zoom scope keeps me at medium range and that stabilizer keeps my sway on my sniper rifle when I'm aiming down. It lowers it a little so it helps me aim on target, drop them fast, drop them quick, do all that shenanigans. Alright guys, it's time for me to give you my setup for this. Obviously you're going to put on your longbow DMR sniper. But for your attachments for this gun, you're going to put on a 4.5 times zoom scope, the stabilizer for your second attachments. Your anti titan weapon today is going to be the good old mag launcher because it fires magnetic grenades and it drops people easily and it is fun to use. Alright guys, for your sidearm today, you're going to put on that RE45 auto pistol. This is basically a submachine gun at close quarters when people get too close to you. You'll be sitting there, people will be like, oh, I'm going to come run a gun on this. Like, you can't stop looking at me, so get up out my face. Then you'll drop them, they'll be dead, and you'll have a good time, and you'll be like, yes, 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 hooah. And you'll just have a good time with the game. For your tactical abilities today, guys, you're going to put on the cloak because that is going to keep you invis when you're trying to aim at people. Quick tip, when you're invis, you got to pay attention, but there's a very, very small reticle on your screen that you'll be able to see so you know where the center of your scope is when you're invis, if you're not that good at guessing where it is. But that's where it is all the time, and that's where you want to aim. It's a very, very small black dot, which is kind of lame, but it makes it a little tougher. Ordnance today will be the satchel charge. 
Always satchel charges for me, that's what I always use because I could go ahead and just drop people, throw satchel charges wherever I want, and just detonate them because it has a very huge and giant explosive range. And it's good for just getting rid of people when they're in your face. You're like, get out of my face, toilet face! For your kit, here's what you're going to put on today. I put on the quick reload kit, reloads your sniper faster, gets you more ammo faster, feeds your gun faster, and you just get to drop people faster. Your tier 2 kit today is going to be the minion detector. I like to use this whenever I play attrition because they'll be everywhere, minions, specters, all that. They'll be everywhere. And you want to know where they are, right? So put this on. There's no other good tier 2 kit to put on besides the guardian chip, maybe. But that just makes your titan a little bit more accurate with the shots. But not that amazing of an attachment. So I always go with minion detector no matter what. Alright guys, that is my setup, that is my strategy, keep your distance, don't get too close to people, if you do, you're gonna die, you finna die, <laughs> just kidding guys, yeah, get too close, you're gonna die, you gotta keep your distance, keep medium range, and just pop off shots for a distance, yeah, if you're playing certain game types, that might not help your team, but, if you're trying to get this for a challenge, or if you're gonna play hardpoint domination, you go ahead and camp flags from a distance. Just pick off anyone that's trying to go in there. And that's how you can help your team. Attrition, it's a lot easier because this gun is a one shot kill to all minions. Two shots to specters, of course. But one shot to grunts. So you could just sit there and shoot grunts all day and just load up your freaking minion kills for this gun and help your team still. That's why a lot of people like playing that game type. Anyway, you guys, if these tips helped you guys today, let me know in the comments section below. And like always, pilots, be careful out there on that frontier. Good luck out there.